A South Africa free from the shackles of race classification. That's what some of these parents had hoped their children would be exposed to at school. So when grade R teachers alerted parents that white children were being grouped together according to their race, emotions ran high. It doesn't make sense that you want to group children according to cultural lines because if that is the case, then it would mean that for every grade you need to have something like 13 different classes because the fact that we, both of us are black does not necessarily mean that we belong to the same culture. The school bizarrely says it grouped the children according to their race in order to promote a multiracial school by attracting more white children. We also had complaints of white parents in the past um, that we, we now become too much of a black school. Um, and not that we have a problem with that. We don't want to lose more white learners so that it can be a multicultural school. So instead of splitting the classes, uh, the, the white children, which was in one stage five in the one class into three different classes, we kept the five white children together. My daughter, she's friendly with the black children. She loves the black children. Yes. And um, she's now in a class where there's 17 children. It's 50-50. And the, I think this is where the issue comes in, that that's the only white class. There's two other classes, and they're, they're, they're predominantly black. And there's only eight ch white children or nine white children in the class. And they can't, uh, to me, you can't split those children. My daughter has got grown so affectionate and loving to her teacher. And I'm concerned that if they move her out of that class, it'll affect her as a child. Following a closed meeting with parents, Kiro management apologized for its divisive policy. It says it'll rectify the situation in phases. A task team will advise the school on how to best reintegrate the children. We did not ask for our classes to be separated. In fact, we condone the fact that our children need to be split up in even numbers when it comes to race, if it comes to culture, whatever else the case may be. Because when my son grows up, he is going to be involved in business with people of different race and culture. The Gauteng Education Department has condemned the practice and will send a team to investigate the matter. Tarang Masanabo, Roodeblot.